What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video we're going to be talking about upcoming tech of 2016, channel plans as well as lots more. So firstly, Happy New Year and I thought I'd kick off this year with a Q&A video to be a bit more interactive and I did something a little bit different this time and I asked you guys to submit your questions via Snapchat as video snaps so this way you lot get a lot more involved as well. Now, I've seen a lot more YouTubers do this and it seems like a very nice technique so let's get straight to the questions. What's up Seth, um, what I'd like to know is what tech are you looking most forward to in 2016? So what am I looking forward to in 2016? I'm looking forward to DSLR cameras supporting 4K firstly. You've got all of these DSLRs, Nikon, Canon, there's a lot of us who have invested a lot in the lenses, but they seem to have kind of gone to sleep and not really caught up with the game. So I'd love for 4K to come to more entry-level DSLRs as well. And also the new smartphones I'm looking forward to, so Galaxy S7. The new iPhones are gonna have a different design, hopefully this year, so the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, yeah, iPhone 7 Plus, as well as the new Nexus, so there's going to be lots more tech coming up. Hello, Saf. My question is, what is the first phone that you ever had? First phone I ever had was a Philips Digger. You'll see that on the screen right now. I have covered that in a previous video. It was an absolute brick, but um, my first phone, and I still have it because sentimental value. What is your New Year's resolution for 2016? How's it going, Super Saf? I just want to ask, for 2016, do you plan on bringing anything different? Um, to your YouTube t uh, channel in terms of tech, something which you haven't done before, anything new? I don't really do New Year's resolutions for myself, but uh, in terms of plans for the channels, uh, going forward, I definitely want to do a lot more collaborations. I think that's something that I lacked previously. And last year, I did do some collaborations. You must have seen the big collaboration towards the end of the year. And I'm planning to do a lot more collaborations for 2016. So I really want to push on that side of things. In terms of your videos, I am concentrating more on what works. So I'm doing more of what people want to see. So if there is something you want to see, then drop that in the comment section below. And I'm going to be concentrating more on that. I'm not only going to stick to smartphones, as you guys would have seen the top five cool tech deals of the month. I'm doing those as well. So I'm checking out different and cool products in those as well. And those are going to be carrying on through 2016. I have a very serious question to ask. How do you maintain the cleanliness of your beard, man? Like, don't you ever have a bad beard day? Like I'm having today? Yes, I have a bad beard day. Every bearded man out there has a bad beard day now and then. But you just have to maintain it. I have done a top tips for growing a beard video in the description below. It will be linked so you can go ahead and check that out. That's got like 300,000 views, which is crazy because this is a tech channel. Uh, in terms of just general maintenance, I do trim my beard every week and I do shape it up uh, every other day or so. So um, if you guys want to see more detailed videos, sort of routine videos and stuff, then let me know. And if plenty of you want to actually see them then I'll do some more detailed videos. Hello Super Seth. Uh, how do you think HTC is going to do this upcoming year and do you think they're going to be able to revive themselves from this year's horror? Very good question. Uh, HTC in 2016 and do you think they'll revive? Well I hope they do. Um, I've been a huge fan of HTC products for a very long time. One of my first smartphones was an HTC device as well. If I was HTC I'd go back to the drawing board and concentrate on uh, an absolutely dope design and really really concentrate on that camera make the camera the best there put all your resources towards the camera don't try to do something fancy like ultra pixels or dual camera or whatever stick to what works from the other competition and do that but don't just make a clone of an iphone like the a9 what's up Saf? what's your pick for the best uh, smartwatch of 2015 and how do you feel about smartwatches in general as a new technology thanks Smartwatch pick for 2015, by the way, awesome beard bro, beard gang all the way. It would be the Samsung Gear S2, I just love that bezel, I think that's an awesome way to navigate on your smartwatch and I think other manufacturers should steal that, copy that. What do I think of them in general? I think they are cool but not something you need. I personally don't really wear a smartwatch every day but uh, it's something nice to have. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, happy new year to you as well, buddy. Seth, what motivates you to grow more as a YouTuber? What motivates me to grow more? Well, it's you guys. You guys motivate me to grow more. Uh, do more of these videos, all of your comments, your feedback and everything. That's what really makes this happen, all of this happen. So it's all you guys, so thank you. Why are you always eating the nicest food? Why am I eating all the nicest foods? Well, why not? Hey, Seth, uh, I'm, my question is, how do you feel to be a YouTuber? 
is in tough. Right, how does it feel to be a YouTuber? It's absolutely awesome being a YouTuber. Is it tough? Yes, it's very tough. Uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a quote and this is something that I uh, live by. Um, Nothing worth having in life comes easy and that's the same with YouTube. It applies to pretty much everything. Just because you enjoy doing something doesn't make it easy. Yes, it's more enjoyable to do, but it is definitely a lot of hard work. I know lots of hardworking YouTubers out there. I don't think any one YouTuber out there, successful YouTuber out there doesn't work hard. But having said that, it is absolutely awesome having the following, the support, the YouTube network, just you know, knowing other people that are doing the same thing as you and having support and collaborating and things like that, that's absolutely awesome. So I am very, very positive and very blessed and grateful for all of the support that I get from everywhere. So huge thank you. Now that's all we have time for. Thank you for all of your questions and don't worry if you didn't get featured this time, you can get featured in the next episode. So go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, it's Super Seth TV, and also on Twitter and I'll let you guys know when the next episode is going to be going live so you can be involved in that. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this new format where you guys actually get to feature on the channel. It'd be uh, great to know what you guys think and if you'd like to continue this format for the next episode, if you haven't already then be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you are already subscribed then be sure to switch on notifications on the app. There's a little notification icon somewhere and if you usually view via the browser then you can switch on email notifications as well so you'll be able to see when all the new tech content is going live in 2016. My previous related video will also be linked here somewhere. Thanks for watching, this is Safa on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time.